Hi everyone, Moin360, so you're doing a review on the Pressy, and the Pressy is essentially a customizable Android button that plugs into the headphone jack of your Android phone or tablet, and when you click on the Pressy, it enables you to quickly launch some system actions like the camera or changing the settings and turning on the flashlight, for example. And I will, of course, be showing you all of those features in the upcoming minutes of this video. But first, let's take a look at the packaging. Very plain and simple packaging. Nothing much really to talk about. When we open it, we get the Pressy itself and also some instructions to keep the Pressy safe. Uh, so you have the choice of either attaching it to your headset or keep it on your keychain so you don't misplace it. Uh, so I'll take the Pressy out and it's inside this case to keep it secure which is pretty nice. Uh, again very very small and we, we are going to start using the Pressy first by first uh, downloading the Pressy app from the Google Play Store. Uh, I guess while uh, it's downloading the app. Uh, we should insert the Pressy into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So after the app is installed, we should open it. It says getting started. It needs me to enter the activation code. So I'll scan the QR code uh, on the packaging to activate it. And then it just provides you with a tutorial to show you uh, how to operate the Pressy. So pretty straightforward stuff. And uh, this is the main uh, main screen for all the commands. They have a few built-in uh, commands already, like the flashlight, toggle mute, and the launch camera. Uh, and we can add more commands, of course, as we desire by tapping the plus sign. And then we get uh, all the categories of commands that we can add. So, for example, if I want to use the press seat to open up the calculator, I can go to Run App and then select the app I want to activate with Pressy and I'm going to choose the calculator and now I will have to choose a trigger that I want to utilize to open the app so you can choose from a variety of patterns the taller rectangles represent long pre presses and the shorter rectangles represent short presses so I'm going uh, I'm gonna go with long presses uh, so I'm gonna so for this one I'm gonna go with long press short press so we have our command all set and ready. We can just uh, tap on the check mark to save it. So to see if it works, I will perform the trigger that I chose that is uh, long press and short press. And then boom, the calculator opens right up. And another cool thing is I can uh, do the command even if the screen is off. So I'm going to do long press, short press again, and the calculator still opened like it did previously. So let's take a look at uh, some commands, uh, some more commands like uh, the flashlight. So I can short press on the pressy and the flashlight will turn on. So pretty useful when you're in, in, in a dark location. Uh, next, if I want to open up the YouTube app, I can long press and then YouTube will launch. Uh, so you kind of uh, get so you kind of get the idea now. Uh, so if I want to quickly mute my phone, I can do three short presses and it will mute my phone. And I can also do three short presses again to unmute it. Uh, and finally, I can also uh, launch the camera by doing uh, short presses and the uh, by doing two short presses and the camera will launch as expected. So this really is what the Pressy is all about, being able to set the actions that you would like to perform and activate them with a simple click. A few other things to mention is the Pressy will take up the space of your headphone jack, so it would potentially create more hassle if you're uh, going to switch between your headphone and the Pressy. Another thing is the price of the Pressy is a little on the expensive side, it retails for $27 on its webpage uh, at get.pressybutton.com. You can also find it on Amazon as well. All the links are down below in the description as always. So in conclusion, the Pressy is pretty good for what it was designed to do. So if you're someone that prefers a dedicated shortcut button the, for you to access your favorite smartphone functions faster and easier, then this could be a great fit for you. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, and tell me in the comments what you think of the press. I'd be happy to hear your thoughts. And uh, thanks again, and I'll see you guys all later.